Hello there, cannabis connoisseurs. Today we're taking a deep dive into two popular strains, White Widow and Stardog. First up, let's talk about the classic White Widow. This legendary strain has been around since the 1990s and continues to be a staple in the cannabis world. It's known for its balanced high, combining both mind-altering and body-relaxing effects. White Widow is a hybrid that packs a punch with its high THC levels averaging around 20%. As for growing conditions, White Widow is pretty easy to grow. It prefers a warm and dry climate with temperatures ranging between 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and it does well in both soil and hydroponic setups. White Widow has a relatively fast flowering time of around 8 to 9 weeks, which is great if you're looking for a quick turnaround. Next, we have the newer but equally popular Stardog. This strain is a cross between Chemdog 4 and Treydog and is named after its star-shaped trichomes. Stardog is a hybrid with a slightly more energetic eye, making it a great choice for a productive day. Its THC levels average above 20%, so it's not for the faint-hearted. When it comes to growing, Stardog can be a little finicky. It prefers a warm and dry climate with temperatures between 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, but it also needs good ventilation to prevent mold and mildew. Stardog has a flowering time of around 9 to 10 weeks, which is a little longer than White Widow, but still within the normal range. So, which one is best? Well, that's subjective and ultimately depends on what you're looking for in a strain. If you're after a balanced, relaxing high, White Widow might be the way to go. But if you're looking for a boost of energy, Stardog is the one for you. But let's get real, both strains are top-notch and have a lot to offer. So why not try them both and see for yourself? That's what we call the ultimate side-by-side -side comparison. And now for our ranking. Drumroll, please. We give White Widow a solid 89% on the satisfaction scale, whilst Stardog gets around 75%. This is our personal opinion, and you might find that you prefer one over the other. Let us know in the comments what's your favourite cannabis strain and why. And if we remember, we might just feature it in our next video. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, smoke up the like button and subscribe to our channel so you too can become a cannabis expert.